Yeah. Hey, my beautiful Scorpio collective. Welcome to Scorpio Intuition. So, family, we're about to get into this energy. It's going to be a free fall, whatever spirit want to tell us. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with my deck, which can get kind of, you know, like it is. And then we're going to go from there. Spirit, what is it that I collective should know at this time? Messages of love and light. Messages of love and light. And please understand, energies is fluent. So this may not pertain to you. But if it do, then it do. If it don't, then it don't. Try the next video, family. Messages of love and light. For my beautiful, powerful collective. Mmm. All right, fight for us, please. You got somebody right now begging, family. Somebody is in your energy field where they really want you to fight for them. They, I feel like that's what you've been doing. Honestly, I feel like this this situation or whoever this is that you've been fighting for the situation and now that you finally given up and like I'm not about to waste my time. Now this person wants you to uh now this person wants you to come and fight for them. And it says let me spoil you and only you. So with this, this person wants to come in and treat you right because you no longer desire them. And when it says only you, I feel like because this person was dealing with other people but when it came to you. It's like when you wanted them, they didn't want you, but then now they do. And this right here could be a manipulative man or a manipulative woman that's coming in. But it's a manipulative man, so I feel like whoever this person is, they're very manipulated, very... Um, I feel like they play on your emotions. They played on your emotions because Scorpio, you can't play on something you ain't playing with. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, all right. And then the next card we have is I love you, but use them. So when it say fight for us in the past, yeah, this person, this person really had feelings for you. I don't even feel like they really expressed it like they should have. And it says I use them. So I mean, the third party situations, uh, this person could use those people for sex and money. Mm-hmm. Sex and money, what it sound like. And then right now with this um chase no wait, I'ma say it it was a uh I can't anymore. This is you telling this person that you can't do this anymore. You can't keep going back and forth with this individual, uh trying to fight for something that they ain't fighting for. It's like first of all, it's like I'm just fighting with fighting myself. How you in the how you in the ring just fighting by yourself? And this motherfucker wants you to fight for us, but us, his they ass or her ass, they outside of the ring. Like, bitch, y'all the fuck we fighting together. They're supposed to be tag team, bitch, and I'm the only one in this bitch just don't 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 do <laughs> So you tell this mofo, I can't do this no more. And the reason why this manipulative man, they wanted you to chase them. And then you told them, no, baby, you can chase these salty nuts. <laughs> Messages of love and like, yeah, this person was uh what had had an ego, had a big ego, real big ego. And some of them ego wasn't big. Anyway, yeah, this person dealt with a lot of fake people around them, fake love. Uh, around them. So I feel like in right here, biggest day got third party situation. So this person that wants you to fight for them now, this person has so much going on. They had third party situations, uh, people that they was they they was they was uh having entanglements for money, uh a little hole. And then <laughs> people that they were uh, just dealing with also it's a lot of fake friends and uh family members around this individual that uh what was advising them wrong. And another thing gotta tell me that for this person to have so much ego when it pertained to you, Scorpio, this person was really uh, insecure because, like, it's like you listen to, to all these fake people around you, but the realest one, the realest one in the world, Craig, I mean the world, Scorpio, you feel me? They don't want to listen to, like, they want to communicate with. You don't get your old Bible, oh, I only listen to negative energy as, like, if you what, you got a negative energy detector or something, that's the only shit you listen to? Then we have childhood dysfunction still affects my right now, so... This person was manipulative because they dealt with a lot of fake love growing up. They dealt with a lot of fake uh, enemy, a lot of uh, family members who, uh, a lot of family members who, 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 who probably was manipulative and on that lower vibration. So it's like this, this person was like, "Well, this is all I know." Well, shoot, clearly, Mr. Love and Light Spirit, it says. Freak in the morning. Yeah, fight for us. This person, the person wants you to fight for them, but all they was, all they was, uh, barely good for was just being freaky or, or wanting some type of sexual contact with you. And I feel like, uh, the contact that y'all had when y'all did have entanglements, that this person was draining your power. If they came to get your energy, Scorpio. You know we are very. First of all, you know we rule the sexual organs, right? So if this person, um. Uh, 
Y'all had entanglements. This person was, was obtaining power from you through sexual energy. Yes, sexual energy is a real thing. And Scorpios, we are the gods of it. Messages of love, Mike. Duh. Huh? I know, right? All right, spirit the bottom. All right, and then the next thing right now, uh, I love you, but use them. Uh, triggers and frustration. This person is frustrated now. This person is getting triggered and frustrated because the love they have for you, they never did ex uh, really fully uh, go into detail and communicate that with you. And now they're frustrated with the other people that they chose outside of you. And then with this fake love around me, they want me, I don't want them. Uh, the truth is cross watch or whoever the hell you are you wanted them because you chose them over gold now you're stuck with chuck e cheese pizzas <laughs> po tink tink po tink tink all right and now this person want to uh, spoil you someone needs to confess so this person wants to come in and confess that they want to spoil you they want to confess some type of truth but i feel like this person isn't a really honest truthful individual so when it comes to the truth i feel like there's gonna be some bends and turns and you know it's gonna be some it ain't gonna be all the way 100 but this person want to come in and act like they want to spin something on you they want to like they want to change the environment or how it is and I can't anymore uh, planning a getaway with just me and you. So now this person right now, if you haven't heard from this person, this person is trying is tr strategically trying to find a way to uh, get back on your good side because we, I can't anymore. You telling this person, uh, and I feel like for a lot of you Scorpios, this person is trying to communicate with you through your dreams, through songs, everything. This person is trying to reach out to you uh, in the spiritual realm because they know you're very intuitive. And not just that, because they know you're really not with them no more so they're like now well i gotta come to scorpio with some with something big so this person could be trying to plan a trip so and so when they do find the strength or the balls or the the guts to come towards you because you know they 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 seem like they can't do nothing without third parties giving them bad ass bad ass advice so when they do finally come towards you they're gonna try to come to you well look i got this um I got this, this, this situation, you know, let, let, let's go here, let's go here. Boy, I ain't going with you nowhere. I can't trust you in the city we in. I ain't going to trust you outside of this motherfucker. All right. Anyway, the next thing we have uh, for third party, we have bitch energy, low vibration. So, <laughs> y'all, I can't make this up. Yo, this is the third party uh, situation. So, everybody that your person was connected to outside of you had a lot of bitch energy. What do you mean, mercy bitch energy? Meaning they could have been hanging with some low vibrational bitches or the men that they were hanging on had a little bit of, uh, a, a little petty bitches, bitchness in them. I said what I said. Yes, they acted like female dogs. What does that mean, mercy? A female dog. Ready to get fucked, ready to go, just, 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 just low vibrational. Everything that's low, that's what they was going for. And then right now with this manipulative male, Spirit says this person was closed off and stubborn. They didn't want to really move the situation anywhere. They wanted it to stay at a standstill. So this made me feel like when you were dealing with this person, it wasn't going nowhere. And they wanted you to wait on them until they figured out what the fuck they was doing. And then it says, chase me. This was violated as a child. I feel like the reason why this person wants you to chase them because they did not get attention as a child. They were always uh, put on the back burner. Everything, like if they had a, a, a manipulative mom or, you know, an absentee dad, I feel like they always had to fight for some type of attention. So this is exactly why they go with low vibrate low vibrational third party bitch energy because those are the ones that, that that really gave them the attention because they wouldn't worth shit i'm telling the truth and with this childhood dysfunction you are not forever so this person is not is not healing on a uh, on a solar level they're not healing their childhood wounds but they want you and them to be together forever but they're not healing and scorpio you already know uh if you walk out that door, don't come back no more. You know how we are, bro. Look, you need to keep that shit to yourself, Scorpios. We are already glowing up. Um, you know, we glowing up. Everything's everything. We ain't going back to no bullshit. You feel me? I can't even believe we was in it in the first place. And then this person... <laughs> I wasn't going to take the next card, but the last, the card when I turned over was uh, talk to me, please. So a lot of y'all got this person blocked, and this person got sexual demons. They trying to come back in right now, but uh, this person wants you to unblock them. They said they want to come back in and see uh, what else chaos they could <laughs> they could bring forth. Matter of fact, let me, um, let me pull a few more cards for this energy. Spirit, 
Spirit, what is this, this, this energy? What is this? This bitch energy, Spirit. Yeah, you about to get a <laughs> you about to get some communication fast. Somebody wants to communicate with you. They're there. This is some fast energy. They feel like they need to come in before somebody scoop you up. Uh collective. Yeah. And this person is 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 kind of fully. Like this person wanna take a risk, but I feel like with this person taking a risk, it's gonna come with some type of you know, it, it's like, it's going to come with some, mm, like this person taking a risk on their feelings. Because first of all, this person is insecure. This person is attracted to lower vibrational energy because it makes them feel better. And Scorpio, we are God. So it's like, you coming with that low vibrational stuff, taking a risk on us. And, and you and, uh, it's a big likely chance that we're going to reject that ass. And then you're going to act like a fool. And then we really got to bring out the stinger. So with this, I just... Spirit, what's the likely outcome of this situation with this person? Spirit say, uh, oh, all right. So we got the six of pentacles. So this person want to give to you. And also we got the devil in reverse. But spirit told me to, to say it both ways. Because for some of y'all people, they're very much toxic. But I feel like this person is going to try to come towards you and let you know that they're no longer in this toxic energy. Spirit, what's the six of uh, cups? Yeah, th th this person uh, with, the, with the hangman in reverse, this person was very confused in the past. But now they feel like they know what they want. And they're saying that they want you. This person... With the devil card in reverse, this person about to say they want to marry you. They want a long-term commitment with you. Messages love and light. This person is trying to work on themselves, but I just personally feel like collector. Scorpio, we on a higher level. Like it's like trying to Trying to feed steak to a baby. I like that analogy. I heard it from an angel that came visit me before. But anyway, trying to feed steak to a baby. It's like you too far gone. You know, like you are too far gone where I'm at. Like we over here eating steak, chewing it. Yet. And you, you gumming it. You can't gum it. And I'm not about to chew your food up and feed it to you. I'm just not about to do it. I paid too much. I ain't got too far. Messages love it. Like one more card for this person's spirit. What, 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 what is the next movement this person is going to have towards my beautiful, powerful Scorpio? <laughs> this person is, is focusing on their money right now. They're trying to stay busy, get their money up. But this person is going to come back towards you because they want you in a relationship. They want to be in a relationship with you. Yeah, but this motherfucker still got this sneaky energy. They're going to come in in a sneaky way to try to provide. Yeah. And, and also, th yeah, this person still got some sneaky energy. They still dealing with low vibrational uh, entities. And this person has uh, demons that they need to really face. So with that being said, you got that person, Scorpio, coming back in, wanting to give you a solid offer, but they're not on a solid mentality. All right, family, that's all I got for you. I love you. Love yourself. Uh, remember, we are the gods. Anything we want, we can have. And also, if you're looking for a personal reading or if you want um, want to donate to this beautiful channel, all that information be in the description below. Mm, we are the gods, and it ain't nothing they can do about it. Hey, hey.